Hey guys, welcome back to Tales of Agendia. In the last part, Chloe overcame her drackness, and Chloe and Shirley made friends, and Chloe and Shirley went to the hospital. So now Senel is going to the hospital to join Chloe and Senel, I mean Shirley, at the hospital. So, yeah, uh, okay, this guy again. Hey Creepy, how you doing? Oh, hello. You're the one who gave me directions before, correct? Yeah, maybe. And the last with the lovely hair. Is she not with you today? Do you see her? Ah, yes, I suppose not. That's a weird, weird hairstyle. Kind of interesting, actually, and not really in a bad way, but whatever. This city certainly is quiet. It's quite boring, really, how peaceful it is. It's good that it's peaceful. I bet no one here would ever expect anyone to suddenly draw a weapon and attack. What are you trying to say? Oh, it's quite simple, really. The lives of those who've lapsed into the decadence of peace are utterly worthless. Come now, what's that look? It was just a joke of sorts. It wasn't funny. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I'm afraid I've got a bit of a sarcastic disposition. Although, Jade does it way better. Just saying. Although I did intend to upset you. What's so funny? Who are you? And what did you come to the Legacy for? Oh, I have my reasons, but I have no obligation to it explain them to you. You'll find out soon enough, though. Let's just hope it's not already too late by then. Then how about we just take care of it right now? I think I'll pass. I'd prefer to leave some sort of the, some of the fun for later. Now, if you'll excuse me... Okay! He knows the Ninja Vanish trick. That's interesting. He is seriously, like, one of the ugliest and creepiest anime designs I've ever seen. Like, just, oh my god. <laughs> hey, Senna, about time you showed up. Senna, you're horrible. Yeah, I know. I can't believe you stood Shirley up. Despicable. Yeah, yeah. What, is there something on my face? No, it's nothing. Shirley, I'm sorry. Actually, something good happened because you were late, so it's okay. Thank you all so much for taking the time to come to see me. Are you feeling okay, Elsa? Yes, thanks to you all. My illness is gone and I'm feeling fine. That's just wonderful. How can I ever thank you? Use your abilities to help as many people as you can. I will dedicate myself to that task. I'll help too. By the way, Arnold... Do you know anything about that black mist we saw in the Forest of No Return? That was the first time I've ever seen anything like that. I have no idea what it was. I'm sorry I can't be of much help. Hmm, mist. Mist. Ow! G-Girl? Was that me just now? It felt like something from long ago appeared in my mind. Maybe you're finally getting your memory back. Keep trying, G-Girl. I'll be cheering for you, too. Not like Moses' cheering is going to make a difference. You're an ass. Um, so what was it? How are we supposed to know? Who calls forth Volt? Was it you, Master? Wait a minute, shouldn't you just sound like bzzz? You know, shouldn't you just sound like an inaudible noise? Volt was never really able to speak. Wait a minute, was he able to talk in Tales of Eternia? No, he wasn't able to talk in Tales of Eternia. Because he was... He was, like, overloaded. And he was going kinda nutso. And he actually couldn't talk. 
And then in Tales of Vesperia, uh, Vesperia, Tales of Symphonia, he couldn't talk either. He could be interpreted, but he couldn't really talk. Whatever. You know, he couldn't talk directly. He actually needed... I think it was... Was it Rain? I think Rain was the one who understood him. I don't know. Whatever. I don't... I'm calling it Volt was never able to talk, so why can he talk here? Anyway. Oh, is your name Volt? I'm very pleased to meet you. She's talking to herself again. <laughs> there just ain't no help in that woman. The red one is speaking rudely of you. Do you not mind? Oh. Hmm. Should I mind? What happened to Groon? She gets like this from time to time. We have no idea what causes it. Master, you seem different from before. Is something wrong? I apologize. I should have realized the circumstances when I first appeared. The immature state of this world is a clear enough sign. Even I can only exist in this form. Oh, is that so? That's amazing! I shall sleep until the time comes. What's so amazing, Groon? Oh, what was it? <laughs> How could it have been even the slightest bit amazing if you don't even remember it five seconds after you called it amazing? Wow, I actually said that correctly. <laughs> Norma, thanks to your shouting, I've completely forgotten. What do you have to say for yourself? Don't blame it on me! Ha 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 ha, it's funny. Whatever. Oh my, Volt Seed is in the urn. Where shall I plant it? Uh. Moses! I mean, uh, Moses! Jabba, what are you all worked up about? Don't shout, this is a hospital. Nobody is here! I'm sorry, but this isn't the time to worry about that. Another one of our guys was attacked. What? Where? In the Misty Mountains. What are you talking about? Lately, a lot of our guys have been getting attacked by monsters. Oh, wait, this is... I keep forgetting I'm doing Chaba, not Moses. Moses, is that true? Why didn't you tell us? Well, is there a reason you couldn't tell us? The monster that's been attacking our guys looks like a galf. Oh, just like Geet. Wow, perfect timing, music. <laughs> You're not saying Geet. Oh, come on, there's no way. Spot's such a softy. This is the seventh time one of us has been attacked. That many? Why did you keep this a secret? I didn't keep it a secret. There just wasn't any reason to talk about it. People seem to think Geet might be responsible, right? That's a pretty good reason to bring it up. It's just talk. Geet wouldn't do nothing like that. Where's Geet now? Uh, well... Looks like Moses doesn't know where he is either. What, you gonna start accusing Geet too? Nobody's willing to say it out loud, but our guys definitely suspect Geet. They're looking for him right now, trying to figure out the truth. They can't just sit around and do nothing. Everybody's worried about him turning wild. Turning wild? What are you talking about? Geet would never hurt his family. Y'all know that. I know better than anyone how close you and Geet are. But you can't just erase the fear of him turning wild. If, if you're that worried about it, I'll look into it myself. We'll go too. Sanil. If Geet's being accused, then, we all, need to, then all we need to do is prove his innocence. Guys. Please take me with you. I want to see with my own eyes so I can tell the rest of the guys the truth. Yeah, take a good look for yourself. Let's head for the Misty Mountains. So when we find Geet, we'll just have to cut him open and examine his stomach contents. Yeah, if we find any bandit heads in there, we'll know for sure. <laughs> Law and Order Legacy Unit. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, or... Special, uh, wait, SL, SLU, Special Legacy Unit. Anyway, 
or special ship unit, I don't know. Legacy sounds, special legacy unit sounds better. But anyway, um, let me see here. I'm going to look at the characters just for a sec. Okay, so we did Will, we did Chloe, we did Norma. We're doing Moses now. Okay, so after this, we just have Jay and Groon, and then that's it. Wow. Okay. Do, 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 do. I'm going to get some stuff, because I want to buy some stuff, and I need to make some more croissants, because I am running out of them. And that would be bad if I ran out of croissant. But, you know. I'm not pronouncing that right, because I don't freaking care. Croissant. There it is. There we go. I've created 44 of them. Oh my god. I've gone through so many of those things. And honestly, there's actually a better recipe that I could get. It's just, I have to synthesize it, and it's going to take a lot of uh, really rare things to do. And I think I have to give up my Sephira to do it, and I don't want to lose my Sephira. Because, you know, the croissants are good enough as they are, like, as it is. I don't really need to get the thing that heals me fully every time. That would help, but I don't really... You know, I don't really need it here. I'll actually show you, just so you can know. It's actually not that hard to make, but you have to give up the Sephira. So that gives up your ability to earn 50% extra gold. And I don't want to do that. Uh, here, let's see. Um, I can almost make that. But I believe it is... It's down here. Uh, Flan Cake, there we go. Uh, yeah, so I would just have to, I would have to give up the Sephira, unequip the Black Onyx and a Moon Crystal from somebody, and I can get it. So, yeah. Um, it's a pretty expensive thing to make, though. You gotta use a Flan, you gotta use, you gotta give up a Textile, a Unicorn Horn, an Elixir, and then those other items. That's very pricey. But it's a recipe that heals completely. So, yeah, it's pretty helpful. Oh, hey, I could get some Angel Halos. A divinely cute halo of an angel. I ought to give that to, um... I ought to give that to Shirley. You know, because then she'd be like, uh, Colette. A uh, clear shell. Oh, I can almost make that. Awesome. I don't know if I really would, but, you know. Oh, a technical ring? Man, I wonder, where do you find that? Huh. And then I just need a bloody robe and I can make some moon robes. Ooh, periodically restores a small amount of TP. Huh. That sounds useful. Witch dress and a cape. Periodic star cloak? Wow. Hmm. That sounds interesting. I could probably... I could go for some of these. Man. Uh, I probably won't be making, like, the armors, but, man, I wish I had some of this stuff. And then, um... I also... I want to see if I can make the Kaiser bracers, because, actually, I think the Kaiser breaker... Bracers are breakers. The Kaiser Bracers increase damage on the final boss, I think. I'm not sure. I don't I don't quite remember, but I think they do. So that actually makes them really useful for the final boss. Because the final boss is actually really badass. So, yeah. Gee! Gee! There's something on his fangs and claws. Uh, heh heh, that, that couldn't be blood, could it? He must have been fighting a monster or something. What? Now y'all being cold, too. Don't you trust Geet? Of course we trust him, it's just... We just want to make a rational judgment. It's precisely in times like these that we need to assess the situation accurately. If you ask me, come on, spit it out. Well, Geet is a gulf after all. No matter how strong your bond may be, no matter how connected you are, nothing can change that fact. It isn't natural for a gulf to be living together with humans in the first place. You ain't ever got a kind word for anyone, do you, Jay? What have you seen after all this time? After everything we've been through, you've seen me and Geet together. This ain't got nothing to do with your stupid logic. Alright, that's enough, guys. Let's just go investigate, okay? Me and Geet will make quick work out of whatever monster is doing all this. 
After we do that, everyone can shut it. Let's go, Geet. Oh, well, listen to him. Or he listened to him. He's so easy to read. He can't conceal it. Wait. He's so easy to read. He can't conceal his irritation at all. And that's why you can't help worrying about him, right? I'm not worried. You don't have to hide it. Let's get moving. Well, look who else is easy to read. <sighs> Whatever. Anyway. Now that we've started uh, Moses' character quest, we're going to go ahead and end it off. In the next part, we shall go to the Misty Mountains and investigate. So, see you then.